What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. So in my own channel, other channels, on Reddit, and literally every single social media, the topic of realistic battlefield has been getting a lot of buzz these days. And all of that started with EA announcing that they're hiring some heroes, aka military veterans, for a program called Hiring Our Heroes to help them shape the next iteration of Battlefield games. And that caused a lot of discussion both in my channel and in other social media, giving us a perfect insight of what the Battlefield community thinks about the next game and how it should be. As a matter of fact, what I'm about to say might actually get some people triggered, but this is just reality, guys, and we have to face it. Battlefield has never been genuinely a realistic game. Let's just face this reality once and for all, and I'll be explaining why in just a few minutes, for those of you who don't really know why, and you're like shocked, maybe even triggered with what I'm about to say. But it really is not the realistic game that you think of, at least with the definition of realism that you have in your minds. And I actually made a video about this Hiring Our Heroes program, saying everything that needed to be said. That video will pop up on the top right corner. If you like, you can check it out. But the comments on that video were absolutely surprising to me. It actually divided the Battlefield community for me into two parts. So part one are people who really want Milsim or some parts of Milsim, some let's say fractions of Milsim into the next Battlefield game. And the other part just want a slower paced Battlefield, something like Battlefield 4, Battlefield 3, maybe even Battlefield 1 with core Battlefield elements. They just don't want to be bunny hopping all over the place. They just don't like that. I'm really on the same boat with these guys. I do bunny hop in Battlefield 2042. Some people got triggered even over that in the previous video that I was bunny hopping with a crossbow quick scoping people. Dude, this is how Battlefield 2042 works. If you don't use that, you're going to be in a disadvantage. If you don't know how to use that BS that's in the game, you're going to be in a disadvantage. Just because I use it, it doesn't mean I like it being in the next Battlefield game. I just don't like it. Personally, I just like Battlefield 4 movement or maybe even Battlefield 1 movement in some cases. But yeah, I just don't like how 2042 movement works. But I use it anyways because I'll be in an advantage over the people who don't. So in today's video, we're going to see why Battlefield has never been a realistic game. And we're going to talk about these two sides of people. People who want Milsim and people who want a slow-paced Battlefield, just like the good old days. If you enjoy the content, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It only takes one click. Things are up to date here. And we're going to be covering all news around the new Battlefield game and the remaining months of Battlefield 2042. So this part of the video is for those who have been triggered in the first opening sentences. Let me tell you again. Battlefield has never been realistic, at least with the definition that goes on in the heads of these people. It has never been like that. I've always said, and I'll say it again, Battlefield has always been relatively accurate when it comes to military stuff. For example, this is just an example. Bullet drop has always been a part of Battlefield, almost always has been. That doesn't have anything to do with Milsim, guys. It's just physiques, right? And Battlefield has always been accurate when it comes to those kind of stuff. Now, why? Why is it not realistic? You guys probably ask. Look, I can give you examples for hours. Let me, let me just tell you what comes to my mind, okay? First of all, in a realistic game, you have no idea how many bullets you have left in your magazine, especially if your magazine has no transparent part that you can see the bullets in the magazine. You don't have HUD to tell you that, hey, there's a guy on the minimap, for example, to your left. You have this amount of ammo in your magazine and your total ammo is like, 400 that that's just ridiculous in a milsim or a realistic game for example you've got insurgency sandstorm which is a milsim game you have no idea how many bullets you have left in that magazine in real world with the modern sniper rifles and modern cartridges you don't need to hit heads you know it it, it just goes through that armor that soldiers are wearing it doesn't matter so a body shot is a is literally a confirmed kill in battlefield however Snipers, at least not the heavy ca calibers, like not the M82 from Battlefield 4 or the NTW-50 from Battlefield 2042. Not those, those are anti-material sniper rifles. Usual sniper rifles have never been a one-shot body kill. Why is that? Your Battlefield is realistic, right? Battlefield has been always realistic. So why is that not happening in a Battlefield game? Oh, you want more? Let's talk about Battlefield 1. In Battlefield 1, 
there's a platoon coming with light machine gunners, snipers, even tanks marching towards you and you could just charge into them with a bayonet, charge towards the tank to put some explosive on that tank and blow it up for good and sometimes nothing happens to you. Literally nothing happens to you. You charge with a bayonet to a tank. Look how realistic that is. Well, let's talk about horses. As long as I'm concerned, one bullet is enough to drop a horse, right? In Battlefield 1, you could rise horses like they're freaking tanks. You would die easier than your goddamn horse. Look how realistic Battlefield 1 was. Battlefield 4, Battlefield 3, why not go back? Maybe in good old days, Battlefield was realistic, right? Of course not. Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 3, tanks needed only two people to be fully operational. Like that's literally ridiculous in a real life tank. Being able to operate a tank with only two people in it. Shooting, driving, doing everything, skating around. That's just ridiculous. Let's talk about parachutes. Oh, I was about to forget. In what reality can you use your parachutes 10 times before landing? Like open up the parachute, just close it off, open it up again two seconds later. Is that real? You, you, you really think you can do that in reality? Little bird maneuvers. Oh my god, don't even get me started with this one. Little bird maneuvers. Impossible in real life. Especially those maneuvers that we see in Battlefield 2042. In 2042, the maneuvers are just insane for, for any reality. It just, it only can happen in a game. In Battlefield 5 and Battlefield 2042, the sliding and bunny hopping, which is absolutely against, and I do believe they're just ridiculous in Battlefield game. But if you do that in real life, you're gonna break your knee, okay? The least that can happen to you is br breaking your knees. How about flares? We're talking about realism, right? Let's talk about flares. Flares in real life are not a guaranteed countermeasure against the shoulder launch missiles. They're just not. A shoulder launch missile can actually bypass them and through them hit the helicopter or the plane. That is, that, that really can happen. And we even saw that in the teaser trailer of Battlefield 2042, the, the first trailer of the game. The flares actually didn't work. But in the game, flares always work. They are always working and that is just not realistic, guys. And I can keep on going for hours and hours. And I'm pretty sure I can do that because right now I have like 20 more examples in my mind. We literally have clips called only in Battlefield. There are things happening in Battlefield games that are only happening in Battlefield games. And those things are rarely realistic, guys. I'm pretty sure you've seen the videos. So instead of being a fanboy, let's be realistic ourselves instead of calling Battlefield realistic because Battlefield has never been realistic with the definition that you have. I'll say it again, Battlefield has always been relatively accurate when it comes to military stuff and physique. Relatively accurate, not realistic. So drop your ego, guys, and just accept the reality. I by no means like Battlefield 2042 and Battlefield 5's movement, to be honest. I just like Battlefield 1 or Battlefield 4. But that doesn't mean that I, for some reason, have to be hiding the truth and say that Battlefield is not realistic nowadays, but it was 10 years ago when Battlefield 4 was the latest Battlefield game. No, guys, it wasn't. And I've seen some people in my comment section saying that some elements of Milsim can actually be getting into the Battlefield games. Look, this is absolutely ridiculous when I hear this, but it's like saying I want some FPS elements in the new Assassin's Creed title. You see how ridiculous that sounds? That's exactly how ridiculous it is to say I want some Milsim factors, some Milsim elements in the next Battlefield game. Milsim elements are made for Milsim games, guys. You can't just get some Milsim elements into a game that is by nature an arcade shooting game. That's just impossible. You see, Arma 3, Insurgency Sandstorm, Squad, Escape from Tarkov, when you think of those games, the last thing that comes to your mind is Battlefield. I have no idea how do you want to do that. For example, leaning has been always a core Battlefield element. It has nothing to do with Milsim, guys. If you want leaning back into the game, I do want it back in the game as well. But that doesn't mean we want Milsim, because that's not Milsim. We've always had leaning in previous Battlefield titles. It's a core Battlefield element. You can't just put it in the Milsim side, because Milsim is just more complicated than this. So please, next time when you decide to speak about Milsims and the, some elements of Milsim, Take a look back at Battlefield titles to see if those elements that you think are related to Milsim have been a part of previous Battlefield titles or not. Just take a look back and I'm pretty sure you're gonna find them in Battlefield 3 and 4, maybe Battlefield 1. You're gonna find them because those are not Milsim elements, guys. Those are things that you miss. 
from previous Battlefield titles. And now 2042 and Battlefield 5 can't really give you what you miss because they are lacking the core Battlefield elements. That's the issue that we've got right now. I love Battlefield to go back to roots. That's something I truly want. Every single time that I hear about Battlefield 4, when I see some clips of Battlefield 3 and 4, it's like something burns inside of me. Some, It's like I'm desperate for, for those feelings again. I know what you feel. I know what you want. Most of you just want the Battlefield to go back to roots, but you just have problems saying it. And you, for some reason, just, I don't know, get it wrong with Milsim or Milsim elements, as you might like to call it. I like the next Battlefield games movement to be a combination of Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 1's movement. I like, I absolutely like uniforms to look as realistic as possible because I just hate the skins that 2042 gives you. Like, they're just ridiculous. If you see my gameplay, I never use those skins because I just don't like them. I do believe they're not convenient for a Battlefield game. So to wrap things up, guys, being realistic about what you want is very important. And what you want is not a milsim, guys. You just miss previous Battlefield titles. What made Battlefield Battlefield, you miss those things. And you sometimes get it wrong with milsim elements, like picking those elements and putting it into a game and call that game an arcade game with some milsim elements. That's, th that's just not going to happen, guys. And I want to tell you in the end of this video that you and I, even the people that I got triggered, probably, were on the same page. We want Battlefield to go back to those glorious days where we really had fun with friends and the Battlefield was r literally at its best and at its prime. We want Battlefield to go back there, so let's not misinterpret that into being a milsim because that's just going to ruin the franchise forever. If you have anything to say, guys, if you have anything to add to today's video, maybe even if you disagree with me, go down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. We're going to have a discussion down there. The comment section of my previous video was, I would say, a pretty rich place. I learned a lot of things about the community and what you guys think. It really gave me a decent insight of the Battlefield community. And I really appreciate that. I really appreciate you guys being honest in the comment section. And I'll try to be honest as much as possible. And, and that's going to be it. Until next time, guys, stay cool.